Will there be a recession in 2019? That is the question asked by many professionals and experts in the financial field. If you turn on the news or read the financial section of your local newspaper, you will find numerous articles stating that a recession is imminent. Financial personalities ranging from Sven Carlin, upcoming YouTuber, Peter Schiff, financial commentator, and even the former director for the Obama administration, Lawrence Summers, have all stated that a recession is imminent within the next few years. This most recent bull run dating back nearly 10 years has created a number of environmental factors that have influenced many personalities to come out and make a prediction stating that a recession is imminent. You may have heard about the recent trend of federal interest rates rising, the corporate debt bubble, the inverting yield curve, and a record number of corporate buybacks. But what the experts don't tell you is that all of these items come with a big asterisk, and we'll go through each one of them as the video continues. We can start with the federal interest rate. And yes, it's true. Federal interest rates have been rising in recent years after hovering near 0% since 2010. And it's also true that federal interest rates rise before a recession. Those areas marked in gray represent recessions since 1990. But ultimately, the federal interest rate has a long way to go before it reaches the pre-recession levels we saw in 2007. Mr. Powell, seen pictured below, tends to increase rates two to three times a year. The current rate stands at 2.25%, and the rate before the 2007 recession was 5.25% meaning we have 3% left to reach the pre decession levels seen in 2007. If we assume in an average year the rate hike goes up by 0.75%, we have nearly four more years to go before we reach pre-recession levels in the interest rate. And even when it reaches that level, it's not assumed that a recession will happen right away. Look back at the chart at 1988. The level reached nearly 10%, and there still wasn't a recession until nearly two years later. Another major reason they state that a recession is imminent is the large number of corporate debt that is allocating right now as we speak. Corporations are tending to borrow a lot more money than they have in the past, and this is usually indicative of an incoming recession. And while that may be true, corporate debt isn't really a good indicator of how well an economy or how bad an economy is doing. A better indicator is to look at corporate debt as a ratio of market value. Looking at this chart stretching back to 1950, we can see that the correlation between this indicator and recessions is really high. The areas in gray identify a recession, and you can see the peaks, which represents the ratio, get really high before a recession takes place. If we look back at the last seven recessions, we can see that by using this ratio, we can identify nearly every single one, and looking at the 2018 numbers, they remain low. Another interesting topic that is discussed when trying to predict recessions is the inversion of the yield curve. This specific indicator has predicted the last seven recessions nearly perfectly. But the only problem with using this indicator in 2019 is that the yield curve currently isn't inverted. If you take a look at the chart below, I can help explain. The top two green and black lines represent the yield curve in March of 2007 and November of 2000. Two yield curves right before two major recessions. The bottom line in light blue represents the current yield curve as of January 2019. As you can see, the top two lines are clearly inverted, with the top part reaching the first part of the line. But if you look at the current yield curve represented in the light blue, it looks nothing like the top two. The first part of the line remains below the second part of the line. Although it is evening out a little bit, which is cause for concern, it has yet to invert. In addition to all this, many experts quote the fact that corporate buybacks being at an all-time high is indicative of an upcoming recession. And although it is true that corporate buybacks are at an all-time high, this is not an exact science in predicting recessions. The last recession did have this behavior, but the one before that had no indication. Corporate buybacks can be looked at through multiple lenses. While some will say they're indicative of recessions, others will say that they're just simply a reaction to environmental factors within the economy. K 
carrying large amounts of equity capital on the balance sheet for some companies becomes more of a burden than a blessing. So often they will go and buy back stock in an attempt to avoid this. It is also known that buying back some or all of the outstanding shares can be a simple way to pay off investors and reduce the overall cost of capital. There are numerous other financial reasons why companies do buybacks and none of them have any bearing on the overall market. Using this as an indicator for the next recession is a flawed science. This, among other items discussed in this video, is why I believe this market is here to stay, and fears of recession by many are simply overblown reactions to a short window of history. The modern stock market doesn't have the data to support many of their claims, and ultimately a bull market ignited by the fourth industrial revolution could potentially last for decades. Stocks will continue to go up in 2019.